This is extremely exciting. It seems like the text-to-video AI train is finally starting to chug along a little faster. Of course, we saw this huge explosion with AI text to photo generation. Video generation's been pretty slow so far, but I have two new competitors that are entering the ring today. One of them you can actually demo today, and it is going to be open source, and the other is a little bit more mysterious. All I know is that both of these compete with Gen 2, which is thought of as pretty much the only main text-to-video platform at the moment, but these two we're taking a look at today are definitely very competitive and push the envelope of text to video. We're gonna start off with the non-open source one. This is Pika Labs, and they say that they are a powerful text to video platform. And we've seen this a million times, unleash your creativity simply by typing. And they have some prompts over here, but I don't see any demo videos on the website. Don't worry, viewers, I have some demo videos for us to take a look at, and they're actually quite good. Anyways, this is a sign up closed access beta like many state-of-the-art AI applications today. I have signed up via the website. You literally just click join beta here. I'll link it down below. If I get access, I will make a video, but for now, we're gonna have to just take a look at some demos. And apparently, if you do get access, you can follow other members and leave comments like a social media platform. I don't know, Pika Labs just came out of nowhere. They're not really linked to any previous text-to-video platforms. We don't know much about them. Viewers, to give credit where credit is due, the demo footage we're taking a look at today was by AI Flux here on YouTube. Let's see if this thing is competitive. We've got some pretty basic looking text to video generation so far. Oh, that's pretty good, actually. That was cool. We got some baseball players with fire going on. Not too bad. This does look to be about the quality level that we get out of Gen 2 right now. Some guy surfing a chicken on the surfboard. We like to see that. That's pretty good. Looks like the chicken has two heads or something. Oh, this is a pretty good little surfing video. That's decent. Lots of chicken surfing now. Cool stuff. We like that. Some cowboy man walking through here. Deep sea life. Lots of deep sea life generation videos I noticed from all these text to video platforms. Star Wars looking stuff looks pretty cinematic. That's actually pretty good. That's quite impressive. Creepy crawly spider thing. As you guys can tell with text to video, we're very much still in the stages of super creepy looking stuff, stuff that is, you know, nightmare fuel, but some of it like starts to look all right. Like that wasn't too bad. So a lot of this underwater footage looks okay. This guy picking out shirts, uh, it's kind of nightmarish. <laughs> I was looking for something good, but nothing too good. Some club footage here, not too bad. I like the drone stuff going on. It's very difficult to keep the coherency. I like the reflective on the metal there. Got some space footage. All looks pretty decent. I would say this is very much competitive with Gen 2. It looks like all of these clips as well are about as long and about as many frames as you get out of Runway ML Gen 2. So they're not really improving on the overall long-term coherency, long-term frame rate part of the AI video generation. I gotta say though, the resolution looks to be right about up there with Gen 2, and the coherency does seem to be there as well, keeping things in the background still, understanding how the video is supposed to work. Like, that's not too bad. That's about what we get out of Gen 2, if not maybe a little bit better. It's very difficult without comparing a prompt to prompt since I don't have access to this, but I'm pretty impressed. I would say this is uh, this is right up there with the current best. Wow, the frog looks pretty good. That was a good one. We got some jellyfish nightclub stuff going on. That's kind of fun. Yeah, that's cool. Cool stuff. So yeah, thank you very much to AI Flux here for providing us with this video. I will link it down below if you guys want to watch the full thing, but it seems to be that Pika Labs is quite decent. I would say right up there with Gen 2, maybe better in some circumstances, maybe worse in some circumstances. Very, very competitive, high resolution generations. Here's the thing also with Pika Labs. Many people have been claiming that Pika Labs generations happen very, very quickly. Of course, it is closed beta though, and there are not that many users, so that wouldn't be too surprising. At any rate, viewers, let's dive into the open source stuff. This is very exciting. Open source means that it can be modified, it can be improved upon, and we saw that with previous iterations of this brand new model we're taking a look at. Yes, this model is an evolution of the previous Zero Scope models. This is a sneak peek preview at Zero Scope version 3, and you guys are actually going to have access to it 
today. I will warn you, it does take quite a long time to generate, but we can still make some videos. Let's dive in. So there have been multiple iterations of the zero scope text to video model, and it's been a decent model considering it's open source. There was the original model scope text to video AI that had a bunch of Shutterstock logos on it. People trained their own versions, created zero scope version two, which actually got quite popular. And now viewers, a zero scope version three is on the horizon. In r slash AI video, a user posts, join our exclusive test of zero scope version three, which looks to be quite good. Check out this little demo footage here of a burning tree. The resolution is pretty good. The frame rate seems like it's pretty good, good consistency, and it's all going to be open source. Very, very exciting stuff. Epic Walt here says that they've got some amazing news to share. They've been working closely with Zeroscope to bring a pre-release version of Zeroscope 3. And the platform that you're actually going to be testing this out on is the only one in the world to be using this model in its testing period. So this is the only way you can use this open source Zeroscope 3 model before it becomes open source. And it's all on this full journey AI Discord server. And of course, full journey, you know, what is this? I had never heard of this. It's a very small little Discord community of AI tools. There is no way to use these tools on a website. It's all through Discord, but it seems to be completely free. And of course, they're using that journey name that Midjourney sort of propagated. And essentially, you log in with your Discord through the website and you get access to all of these tools. One of those tools being this exclusive text to video model Zero Scope 3. Again, this is going to be open source, which is very exciting. Not open source yet. They need, they're not done with the model. They're still fine tuning some things, trying to get it all ready. And it looks like the testing for this model is being done on this Discord server. That happens a lot with these open source models. They get tested out on Discord servers. So I'll be linking this Discord server to you guys in the description below, and you can go try to generate some AI footage. Viewers, here is the Discord server. It is, in fact, just called Full Journey. Some things to note, they've got image generation, obviously the video generation, which is the main thing we're talking about. Music generation, speech, and voice cloning. They've also got deep fakes. And one thing is they actually do have a lot of NSFW generations going on here. So this would be things along the lines of strong gore or nudity. And I know a lot of people are into that kind of a thing, so I thought I would mention it. Personally, it's not my cup of tea, but uh, apparently they've also got video generation that is NSFW through this model. Anyways, here is the announcement on the server kind of a rundown. You're getting four second clips, which keeps right up with Gen 2 and Pika Labs. And yeah, you essentially go into one of these channels and you just type slash movie and your prompt and it will generate. Again, like I said, it seems to take a long, long time and sometimes it does fail, but eventually you do get these videos. And oh yeah, that's the really strange thing about this. These videos have sound a lot of the time. There's AI generated sound to go with it. To be honest, I think this is something that Full Journey is adding in. I don't think it's a part of Zero Scope, but take a listen. It's like AI generated music. Kind of a cool clip with the lightning. And you know what? This lightning would be a pretty good test of the uh, quality levels that we're getting here. This model will probably be capable of higher resolutions than we're seeing right now, and they're probably just testing out for coherency and stuff like that with a lower res. But so far, it's not really that bad, all things considered. There's some more lightning clips. Kind of groovy. I like that. Honestly, the, the music does kind of add to it. There's lots of beetles in the server as well. This doesn't really sound like the Beatles in my opinion, but there, there, there they are. There's the Beatles. So I'm very excited for a nice open source model to release because that means there's going to be a huge jump in quality with all the offshoot models and stuff like that. Got some giant explosions going on. These look pretty cool. You can see they're like combining multiple clips together too all in one generation. So you are getting a pretty good idea of what's going on. So they're doing more than just four seconds here. They're generating multiple four second clips and combining them together. So this is literally just called laser. And I guess, yeah, we got some lasers shooting around. Cool. Oh, we've got the Joker. I gotta see this. 
He's just kind of standing there awkwardly now, doing some dramatic poses. I guess he is kind of dancing man, dressed to act like a jester or joker. This is literally like the joker though. As seen on TV commercial black and white, people struggle with household tasks. Not too bad, I guess. Not as good as like the Pika Labs demo we saw earlier, but again, this is gonna be open source, which means it will improve over time and anyone's gonna be able to have access to it. Some trippy hippie stuff, some lasers and craziness going on. Oh, look at all these dinosaur clips. Oh my God, I've never seen so many dinosaur clips in one space. They all seem to be fairly decent. Like this is about gen two quality probably actually, I would say. It's difficult to, to guess at these lower levels and earlier developmental cycles of these AIs, but I would say this is around the same quality, at least for these generations. This one looks pretty good. Some like immersive AI technology. People are wearing AI goggles. That one's a little bit weird. Yes, in the in the AI video game itself. Okay, these Beatles ones are, are just ridiculous. Why are the Beatles everywhere? The trance psychedelic party with aliens. <laughs> this one's literally just called Sad Guy. He does look like a sad guy. That's pretty good close up there. I don't know, the quality does kind of seem to be all over the place with this model. Again, it's not even done yet, so it's gonna improve before it releases and we're just in the testing phases. Got some brain here. Human consciousness, high details, metamagical, it's cool. They're kind of creepy. <laughs> Alligator practices karate. It's trying its best, viewers, it's trying its best. Got some bubbles, that's actually really nice. I like those bubbles, kind of just dancing around with the ray of illuminating lights. That's, that's quite nice. And the audio is pretty cool with that one too. Nice. Michael Jackson moonwalking on the moon while fighting off bad guys. Close and oh, there we go. Yes, <laughs> it's almost it's almost there. The fire and the rain at the same time. This is, seems to be input image test, so you can input an image with it, and uh, it will try to generate something with that input. The creepy found film footage stuff is uh, quite good with this model. Vintage film footage with an uh, orb in the forest. We've got Jeff Bezos here. He's leisurely sipping a cup of coffee. His eyes are glued to the warehouse floor, taking in every detail of operation. That does look like Bezos. He's very happy. He's got his cup on the warehouse floor. Happy Bezos. He is having a world of a time there. This is actually quite reminiscent of like 70s film. It's kind of cool looking there. I don't know what's up with the audio, but uh, it does kind of capture that 70s film aspect. Looks cool. I don't know what's up with the, the people prompting these. Insane man going through psychosis, extreme realistic shadow people everywhere. Dude, what are you trying to make this AI do? I guess that is what a, a psychosis looks like. I mean, geez, guys, you're trying to interpret some horrible things here. Kind of, kind of interesting. Oh, these aliens actually look pretty good. The alien DJs. Wow, that actually came out fantastic. Good work, Zero Scope V3. See, at certain tasks, it really starts to excel. That's why they're not done training it yet. Like, these aliens, these aliens are really quite good. Like, some real detail going on in there. That's impressive stuff. Impressive stuff for sure. And this one actually looks good. Like, that character looks halfway decent. Godlike, benevolent being. These also look pretty good. This is Goddess Melting. I like the melting water sort of falling off of her face. But then you get stuff like this and it's just a little bit more screwed up. So, you know, it seems... <laughs> oh my god. It seems like it tries its best with certain things, but it just can't get there all the way. That elephant's not too bad with the, the woman walking in the background. Like, this isn't too bad. Again, you still get stuff like that out of Gen 2, though. It's not like Gen 2 is that much better than this. Got the zebras in uh, New York City. Oh, this is Sydney, Australia, actually. <laughs> I like the uh, the stock background music that it tossed in there. Yep, people at a bar talking and laughing. Again, the people are always difficult to generate. It took Midjourney so long to get good at people. But like this more abstract stuff is really pleasing to look at. Like these are kind of desktop wallpaper. Oh, we've got some Minecraft stuff going on. I guess that's, yeah, that is Minecrafty. They're playing soccer. It's so funny to see how it interprets all of these different abstractions and ideas, like Minecraft versus ballerina. There we go, Minecraft playing baseball. We like that. It's like a realistic Minecraft person. That was creepy. That's cool. 
And this is like basketball. That did a pretty good job. I'm impressed by that. 18th century creatures reimagined, giant flies, like some ghoulish stuff. Like it's good at like that horror stuff, just like the original Mid Journey was. All just because, you know, it's not there yet as a model. Donald Trump offering you treasures inside of the market. Realistic, scary. There's more Trumps in the background too. He wants to sell you something. He's got American flag. Oh my gosh, that is terrifying. Cursed Trump. Dogs and cats driving bumper cars in Hulk Hogan's backyard. <laughs> I love the audio. It adds so much to the videos. It makes them so much better. I think that this is definitely not as good as Pika Labs, and Pika Labs might actually be better than the likes of Gen 2. Tell me what you viewers think down in the comments below. At any rate, guys, thank you so much for watching. By the way, I actually have my own Discord server as well that's linked in the description of all of my videos. We always discuss the latest and greatest in AI on there, and we have a, we have a fun time. The fact that Xeroscope is going to be open source means it's going to be a lot more accessible for people, and it's going to get better over time. The shelf life of these AIs tends to be a lot longer if they are open source. Very exciting developments. I can't wait for text to video to truly come into its own. I want some long form stuff too, but we're not really seeing that long form generation at the moment. And also speed of generation is another problem with text to video, but we will get there eventually. The road is probably a little bit longer than the text to image stuff and text to image still isn't there all the way. There are many developments to come in the following year here in 2023. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe to keep up to date with our journey into the future, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.